everyone, my name is Steven Adwell at AMR Studio and I wanted to give you another studio update. I've just finished production on Calvin McGriff's debut single. It's an R&B track I think everyone's going to love. It is definitely a slow jam. So it is a good song for all you couples. Yeah. Travis Condon is another singer-songwriter who's been coming into the studio to finish a project that he started 20 years ago, and it is going really, really well. Blake Turner just released his debut EP, produced by my friend Steve Ganson, and vocals were engineered by me here at the studio. I've been working with Kavari, a hip-hop artist who was once based out of Florida, and now she is based in the Tulsa area. Caitlin Marco, a very talented young singer, came in and recorded a few cover songs. My son Julian is almost 16 months old. Help us put him through college. Share this video, because he's really cute. We'll just spin around in the studio. You get a, a view of the live room. Woo! I'm kind of dizzy. I've been spinning around, pacing in the studio to give you this update. This video update was brought to you by Steven Adwell at AMR Studio. Copyright infringement will be prosecuted? I have no idea how to vlog. I'm trying. This is my attempt at vlogging. I don't know if it's going very well. I keep looking at myself in the camera. Then I look away from the camera. I think I'm supposed to look at the lens of the camera. Links in the description of all the artists that I've been working with. They may or may not have any music released yet, but it's a good, wise decision to follow them anyway because when they drop their music, you directly support me and you support them. And Julian needs a future. I hope I can edit this video to make sense. This is what happens when you have ADHD and you went undiagnosed your whole life and you just walk around telling people you have ADD, but you really don't know if you have ADD, but your wife tells you there's something wrong with you. Cause that happens to me every day. So I'm pretty sure that I have ADHD, but I don't know. Ah, man, I hope my editing skills are better. I'm not gonna be very consistent with my vlog, but you guys needed a vlog or I needed to release content because this is a content driven society and I gotta release stuff so you guys know that I exist because this studio needs people in it so I can put microphones in front. If I don't have somebody to put a microphone in front, well then I wasted a ton of money and you don't want me to have lost a ton of money, do you? I don't think so. I know I don't want to. So the whole purpose of this video was to drop this and say that I'm booking sessions for March through May. You better act fast because March mostly is booked. I have some availability mid-March unless I get some cancellations. So if you are on the radar, if you shoot me an email, you go to my website, you fill out my artist production plan, I'll respond with some sort of information based on the question that you ask. If you're on the radar, when a cancellation happens, I might be able to squeeze you in. But it's like, I'm only gonna do it through email. I'm not gonna post it on social media, because I don't know. I do other stuff on social media. Actually, I lie, I might post, I might start posting like cancellations, last minute sessions. It seems to work for other studio owners. I don't know if I want to be glued to social media, like, I think I'd rather just like make this kind of video, drop it, you know, just release content so that way you guys see my face and not just text. Cause a lot of times I don't post because my mind is racing and I go to type something. I'm like, wait, maybe people shouldn't hear that. That sounds weird, that sounds crazy, but I'm a little crazy. So this video just, just went out of nowhere. This has nothing to do with the studio. This is what YouTube people do, I guess. They just get their camera out and they film themselves talking about absolutely nothing and people are entertained by it. You're like getting a glimpse into the mind. You're getting a glimpse into my mind. I think that's a little scary. Like why would you want to hear me rant about absolutely nothing? Vlogging is a weird phenomenon. It really is. Like I can hide behind my thoughts and I can provide coherent thoughts by writing a blog, 
Not on paper, I'm not that, I'm not old. Well, I'm old, but I'm not that old. I don't type on a typewriter, I don't write with pencil or paper anymore. Like, my hand, it cramps up, so I can't write. I have to type, but I use a laptop, like, I'm, I'm not primitive, okay? This is 2019, we got computers crying out loud. This has nothing to do with the studio. I talked a little bit about the studio. If you are still watching this, at this point, all I've done is I paced around the studio live room and talked about absolutely nothing. That is some dedication. You got to the end of this video hoping that you would get some vital information about maybe how the music industry works, maybe how I operate my studio, maybe you wanted to know and see some gear, maybe you wanted to see me push some buttons and push some knobs. Well, that's not happening. Enjoy your day 